Hi and welcome to MC Moments. I'm so glad that you're here and that you always, you know, tuning in. Now, the last two weeks we have looked at lessons we can learn from sheep. As I said, the Bible refers to us as sheep for over 200 times. That means there are things we can draw from that. Of course, we looked at the first one and we say that sheep are foolish or stupid for that matter. And the second one we looked at as sheep being defenseless. Today we look at how sheep are dirty. If you've met some or stay close to some, I'm sure you're a witness. You see, unlike other animals, they don't have that sense of cleanliness by themselves. You look at a cat, it will just be at its own leisure, you know, just cleaning itself. And other animals have those instincts of going sometimes to the water to just, you know, sort of like clean themselves up. Sheep don't do that, unfortunately. And there are things we can learn from that. Um, not unless a shepherd comes and, you know, washes it up, especially during when they are, you know, sharing out the, the wool, a sheep will not in any way by itself clean itself. And that's you and me. We need a shepherd who can clean us. We need somebody who can come and clean us. And that's the biggest lesson that we can learn from. But there's something else that I thought I could uh, pick out from uh, that analogy. And the fact that sometimes we are very quick to look at the other sheep and point at how dirty it is. We're talking about all these judgmental things we throw into other people. And we forget that we are in the same pen, if I may use that. And we all need our shepherd to clean us. And so what's the overall general lesson here? It doesn't mean that we shouldn't ought to look at how we can be clean. But it means that we need to be gracious when we're looking at the other sheep. Does the word have a place on that? Absolutely. That before you talk or remove the speck in your brother's eye, you know, you want to look at the lock in yours. Another example is when Christ is um, addressing these men who had caught a woman in the act. And, you know, by the laws, then they had said, you know what, she needs to be stoned. And we're told that Christ says what? You know, let he who has no sin be the first one to throw the first stone. And of course, I hear the men ran away. Maybe somebody says that, you know, he could have been writing some of their sins down and they disappeared. So we are all in the same boat. As the word says, like sheep, we have all gone astray. All of us have sinned. So we want to be very gracious with people when they fall short in their own shortcomings. So that's the biggest lesson, that we are all in the same boat and that Christ is the ultimate cleanser through his blood. And so my biggest overall as we close this series is this. Yes, we have learned about sheep, but the question is this. Who is your shepherd? Have you followed this shepherd? If not, you better. All the best. See you next week.